It's for a ground meat, like dry rub, it's almost like a marinade. It's chorizo style, so you can use any kind of lean ground meat that you like. Ground chicken works great. I am actually going to do it with some ground turkey today. Um, for every pound of ground meat, you'll need uh, four cloves of chopped garlic, two tablespoons of chili powder, one tablespoon paprika, one half tablespoon oregano, one half tablespoon cumin, one teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and one tablespoon of whatever vinegar you choose. I always keep some of this stuff on hand, so I'm going apple cider vinegar. So I have all my uh, chili powder, paprika, and this one here. I'm just going to go ahead and put this on top. I have three pounds, so that's why the excessive amount of seasoning. And then uh, my oregano, my cumin, and my red pepper flakes. And then I have my minced garlic cloves and vinegar right here. All you'll do with this is get everything mixed in really well with a fork and then let it sit for at least 24 hours to take in all the flavors from your seasonings before you use it to either brown it in a pan, make patties out of it, and grill burgers. Use it however you see fit. Um, another idea I have for you, I have a flat iron here but you could use a tri-tip. It works really well with a tri-tip. This is like a chipotle style marinade. So for this one, my wet ingredients, I have a half cup of lemon juice, a half cup of oil, I just used olive oil, you could use whatever oil you have on hand, a quarter cup of soy sauce, and uh, I have three tablespoons of minced garlic in here. Um, and for my dry ingredients on this one, I have two tablespoons of black pepper, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of paprika, one tablespoon of lemon pepper seasoning, and then um, I also have a tablespoon of minced dried onion in here too. Just combine these two, beat them together really well, and you'll just pour this over your steak, which you can put in a bag or a Tupperware or whatever you want to use. And I would let this sit for at least four to six hours before you throw it on a grill. This marinade is also really good on chicken, um, but you could use this for pretty much everything. Um, give these a shot. Let me know how it goes.